Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are learning how to build a mobile strip by using twist command. Okay, let's have a look. We draw a rectangle shape first, and then we are using linear tree. This one, and have a look here, snapper. I only selected the center object snap. And look here, common bar. We want number four, input four, first reference of the point, this one. And then I go back to the right view. It's much easier for us to control the height. Okay, go back to perspective view again, like copy one, copy and paste. Okay, let's review how did we do before. We rotated each of the rectangle shapes, right? So let us do it again. The first one is 45 degrees, the third one is 90, and the fourth one is um, 135 degrees, right? And then we use loft comment. We usually use natural for all the objects when we use loft comment, but sometimes not. Okay. For this one, it's natural. Put enter, click OK. Then we get it. The mobile screen. It's a tower now. Okay, but we can flow along curve later. Let's say how can we do it much faster. Select all of the curve lines, then we go to find our twist comment by deformation option toes okay twist read your comment bar start of twist exists first point and the second point okay we want it to be uh, infinite yes 180 degrees okay so then you see uh, all the curved lines rotated by themselves and then we used Loft comment, still natural, high center. Oh, okay. It says they are same form, right? And also, we can do it like this. We just drag the gumball and then use project curve tools and duplicate edge. Duplicate those edges, four edges, press enter and join them together and select them all because if you don't do the edges, you don't have this curve line, then you can't twist them because you can't select your axis, right? Let me show you. Select this lines and surface, go twist. Now you say we need to find the point by these two curve lines. We copy one first. Okay, I do this one first. Let's see if we input infinite now what we have. Put now for this one. Still 180. Oh, okay. And let us do this one. Twist. This point. Second point. Yes, 180. You see the difference? Different ISO curve lines, right? If you can't find different, let me show you much clearly. Move, copy one. Just go copy one. Copy this one. Maybe uh, we go to glass screen. Okay. You see they are different forms, right? For this one, it's smooth connection, but for this one, it is not. There is a straight line between those two surfaces. Then let us review how did we do mobile trick. We used the flow along curve common. Let us draw a circle first and then flow along curve we want stretch yes make sure yours is stretch okay 
select our baseline. We don't have one, so we draw one. This one and target curve. This one. Cool. Guys, have a practice. Then we do the structures for Mobius Strip. Hi guys, how's going for the tutorials? Now I would like to share something with you. As you know, you can watch tutorials on our channel. But for those who are just starting with 3D modeling or who is interested in having more details and semantic learning to improve their runner skills, we have designed a series of architectural modeling and design courses for Rhino and Grasshopper. Come to our website, rhinoarchschool.com, the first link in the descriptions. Let's see how it works. Open your browser windows and tap rhinoarchschool.com. Get close to look at our course. You can join our Rhino Architecture Design Tutorials from beginner to advanced course. The first one is Unlimited Time course. The second one is Monthly Payment course. They are the same course, just different purchasing method. Learning this course, you will get a step-by-step -step approach to learn with how to be modeling organic architectures, parametric architectures through interesting cases and famous architects project. For example, the Hahadis project, Mass project, Via Pingo's project, Shidiju Bond's project, and much, much more. Join our professional architecture course and design your miracle. Also, if you want to have files, materials, or YouTube tutorials, you can guide them by supporting and become our blog members. You can find the link in the description. I would like to thank all of our blog membership supporters. It really helps us create even better and more tutorials. If you like the tutorial and would like to see more, please click the like button and make sure you subscribe our channel and we publish the new videos two times per week.